We live in a time where equality has become a suggestion. False claims never called into question and our country headed in an uncertain direction. As we look back at the insurrection, we can see. On January 6th, our nation's ideals were overshadowed by chants of stop the steal. All for one man's appeal, the ugly truth of our country has been revealed. We live in a time where black people can be killed in their homes while they sleep, for walking in the street, and even as they yell, I can't breathe, the wolves and the sheep are allowed to walk free. We live in a time when a country prided on its diversity quickly pushes it away when faced with adversity, and even its own citizens are faced with an 800% increase in hate because the coronavirus came from the same place. Is this America? where there's very fine people on both sides, where one side calls for death? Is this America where religion is equated to terrorism? Is this America where the capital, a symbol of freedom, is destroyed under the guise of patriotism? Is this America? Some say under the law there is already equality, but if you follow the money and see where it leads, you'll find all but the privileged few down on their knees, begging for a better chance to succeed working twice as hard for their family to feed. Black homes appraised at a $200,000 receipt, and even the women are left out to bleed, making 80 on the dollar in a horrible misdeed. In the country where there's supposed to be equal opportunity, some communities are consistently chosen to be left out. Even as they shout, many refuse to hear their cries, turn their eyes, and continue their lives pretending it doesn't happen. But it doesn't have to be this way. Starting today, it's time we focus not on what divides us, but what unites us. Even though it's been one long, dark night, we can begin to inch closer towards the light. Starting today, we can acknowledge those who were denied, let them inside, and show them that in tr freedom and justice, America truly does abide. Starting today, we will hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Starting today, America will become what it is always claimed to be. But I can't do it alone. Alone, equality dies. But united together, equality can rise. So I implore you, speak out against injustice, participate in protests, and do the right thing. For this is the time we live in. But I continue to hope that if America accepts its diversity and stares down adversity, that starting today, these times can begin to change.